Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Plants vs Zombies. I think we're on level 5-8 now and we're finally being presented with a really big challenge. Gargantuar! Right, this one's a really annoying one. It'll flatten everything in its path. It doesn't bother eating it. It just hits it with its telegraph pole. And it has an imp on its back, which it throws if, it's, uh, if there's an explosion around it. And it normally takes a couple of explosions to take these guys down. So this is going to be fun. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Okay, so we'll start off with the flower pot. Don't think we'll bother about the bungee, so let's take the sunflower and our two pots. And... We'll take... Ooh. Let's take the walnut just to be on the safe side. I don't think we're really going to need it. And we'll take a squash, a jalapeno, and a cherry bomb. And that should give us our two explosions. Let's see how we do, shall we? Let's rock. Right, start as we usually do. Let's get some sunflowers down. Get some sunlight going. Should be able to get three of these down, and then we're going to need to start thinking about placing defences. Let's see how we do. So we're on level 5-8. There's only two levels after this. There's a normal level, and then finally we have the boss level. And that one can get pretty tough. But we'll see how we do. Okay, that's our... Last... There we go, that's our, that's our rake used up, so we need to start thinking about defences now. But it's the standard start, so it's fairly easy. They break it to us gently. And everything is alright, so we need just one more piece of sun. I knew the game would provide. Let's get another cabbage pulp down there. So... Ideally, I think I want a couple of rows of cabbage poults and a row of kernel poults for the general zombiness. And what we'll do is, we'll, if we see a gargantua, we'll place a jalapeno down first, and then we'll follow that up with a cherry bomb when it gets close to the plant pot. Man. But we'll, do, we'll just deal with that one with a squash now, because I don't think we're quite ready to deal. Get some of these out. There we go. Just wait for squash to trigger and we'll put a cabbage pulp in its place. That's brilliant. Now let's see if we can get some kernel pulps in as well. Doesn't really matter at this point where we put them, so let's just put them down. Uh, yeah, we're getting nearly to our first wave of zombies, so let's wave to the zombies. Okay, you guys have got that one now. I have faith. A bit more sunlight, please. Thank you very much. They will take him out. You should be alright. Coin. Because I've not been playing using the Zen Garden or anything like that, we don't actually have that much money this run through, which is a bit... Uh, a slight hindrance, I would say. Oh, a bit of sunlight, thank you very much. There we go, we've got that sorted. Now we want to get this final wave going. I think before I do that, because we're getting up to... Did I say final wave? I meant final row. Um, because we are getting up to a large wave of zombies, I think I just want to store up a bit of sunlight. Not quite as much as I wanted, but certainly enough. So let's see what happens, shall we? Just wanted to be on the safe side, just in case we run into any gargantuas. And I 
don't think we will. I think the worst thing that's going to happen is this row here. So let's get some more firepower down there. They should be able to deal with that. Ah, here we go. That's a bit of damage. Throws that guy. And... That stops us from shooting at him for a little bit, which is a bit annoying. But what we'll do now is we'll just wait for him to get close. Let's put down another one of those. And then we'll put a cherry bomb down when he gets close. Or we could use squash. Use squash. There we go. Squash does the job quite nicely, I'd say. But then again, in my opinion, squash does most jobs quite nicely. Okay, that was that gun counter we're taking care of relatively painlessly. They can be a real pain sometimes for this game, but we got lucky there, I think. Okay, last cabbage pole. Brilliant. Right. Okay, we've still got a little bit of time. Not really feeling the need to put up a wall of defences this time round. So we'll leave as is. Let's just build up some sunlight to help us cope with the final wave. And that jalapeno followed by squash seemed to work quite well, to be honest with you. Though we might use a cherry bomb next time. We'll see. Okay, well, we're knocking this lot out quite easily, aren't we? Thank you. And here comes the final wave. In just a moment. What the hell? Why not? Brains. No brains for you. Have some nice, healthy, buttered cabbage. Oh dear, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Uh, Buttered cabbage. Right. Yeah, thinking of that, um, let's start with that. There we go, and pull it up with a bit of that. Okay, and. Got you there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. But we'll put you there. Safer than knowledge, if the very worst happens, it'll be got by this. Come on, give me some sort of explosive device, please. That'll do nicely. Very nicely, as a matter of fact. Melon pot does heavy damage to groups of zombies. Well, that's it for now. Okay, I hope to see you next time when we play the last normal level of the game. Just let that airplane go past, shall we? Thank you. And so until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Plants vs. Zombies. Thank you. And good night. <laughs>